y'all. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you guys another Twin Flame reading, but this time it's going to be for my Divine Masculines. All right, you guys, so we're just going to see what's on their minds, where the energy is at. You know, the day is feeling a little bit different, right? So let's see. Now, this is a collective reading, so everything in it might not resonate with you. Take what you need, leave what you don't need. I pick up on past, present, future energies, as you guys know. All right, so make sure you're in a positive mindset, you're balancing your heart chakra, and you're ready to receive this message that I have for you tonight. All right, so um, let me set my intentions, of course, before I get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this reading for my divine masculines. I ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and to close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or with the purpose of these readings. Thank you so much for protecting me as well, covering me with your wonderful white lights, uh, protecting me from any psychic attacks or any negative energies that are being projected towards me or the light work of society. Thank you so much for using me as the messenger and so it is. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, right? Don't forget, I thank every last one of you guys who have subscribed to my channel, um, who have shared my stuff, who have referred me um, out to other people to get readings. I greatly appreciate all the energy that you are putting back into me, into the Lightworker Society. I'm truly blessed and I'm truly thankful for my spiritual team because they always show up and show out on every reading, right? So last night, if you didn't get to check it out for Virgos, I did drop a reading for you guys. Um, make sure you go to my YouTube, check that out if you are a Virgo. Now, um, keep in mind, right, I'm, um, we have, we know how this goes, right? Masculine, feminine energy, so however it flows, whatever energy that you are, then that's what you resonate with, okay? I might say he or she, but it's just habit to say that, all right? So sometimes I do try to make a habit of saying masculine or feminine, but sometimes it does slip out and it's just so easy to be like, yo, he said, he said, she said, you know what I mean? But you get what I'm saying, so please don't be offended by that. However, my Instagram family. I am recording to my YouTube channel, right? So Instagram only allows me to record about 15 minutes of video. So when I get to about 14 minutes and 50 seconds, I'm probably going to shut this down. Go over to my YouTube, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as this video is available, all right? Now, I'm going to start off with my um, yes and no deck, right? My answer, answer deck. So we're going to see what's going on here. Thank you, my spiritual guides. What message uh, do you have to the divine masculine? What is it that's going on in their life right now? What information do we need to know? Thank you. <clears throat> so the, the thing, that, the question, the card that popped out was unlikely. All right, so whatever they've been thinking about is the answer is unlikely, right? So we need to get elaboration on this. So you know I got to jump right into my tarot. But it's like, unlikely what? Right? <laughs> What's unlikely about to happen? So thank you, my spirit guys. Tell me what is this unlikely mean? Can you elaborate more on this unlikely for my divine masculines? For my divine feminines? <laughs> as well. For the friends. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me clear. So I got the um, King of Cups in a reverse position, okay? So remember, I'm picking up on past, present, future energy. So at any time, this could be your journey, right? So this might have happened already. This could be happening now, or it might not have come yet, all right? Make sure you are in a positive mindset. I do not like to give um, messages that are more trigger warnings. I like to be more about empowering, all right? So we're going to start off with saying that, right? So if it feel like it's getting kind of crazy, I'm going to shift it a little bit, right? Um, but I am going to still deliver the message, but however... Um, they're coming in as this King of Cups in reverse, but this is only because they're overwhelmed. Okay, so because they're overwhelmed, they're anxious at this moment. It's it's blocking something. It's it's, it's conflict because the Five of Wands. I'm glad I looked down. So the Five of Wands is here, right? It's in an off, upright position. So some of the Divine Masculines are definitely going through something where there's arguments and conflict. So the communication between whoever the masculine is having these issues with is definitely a problem, is what I'm getting, right? And they're walking, well, no, the Knight of Pentacles is here in a reverse position, and they're actually really being very risky. It's, they're being risky. They're neglecting their partner, and they'd rather be alone at this moment. 
so they're most likely not with this other person and I'm, I'm assuming that this is what this is talking about right right it's not y'all energy it's not divine feminine energy i'm not picking that up whatsoever but i'm gonna keep pulling my cards and we're gonna see what's going on so right now yeah they they completely not given to that connection they're being lazy going all that stuff it's a lot going on because of course my car has been flipped crazy again right this was happening yesterday like whew. virgo your person yesterday if you are virgo was had a lot to say all right so what are they um being risky about what's going on why are they in this reverse energy spirit oh there's been a tower moment let me find out okay so they they it's all right okay we get into it something happened it caused a lot of chaos it caused a lot of changes right so right now they're having a tower moment um they've been inverting this disaster for a long time is what i'm getting trying to delay this from happening but it's happening it either happened or it is happening and the reason why it happened or it is happening okay is because of the justice card justice has to be served and it came out with this queen of cups card let me show y'all all these together i got the justice card the queen of cups in reverse and the four of wands all right so of course all reverse queens normally represents a karmic situation or a karmic person it doesn't necessarily have to be a karmic partner it could be a karmic mother you know something like that but most likely it usually always ends up being what another karmic soulmate somebody that they are in an intimate con connection with or maybe have chosen with right so basically some justice has to be served so this tower moment has happened because whatever is going on between the DM and this, mm, you heard that? Whatever's going on between the DM and this karmic person is, um, it's, it's a lot of arguments, okay? It's, it's causing a total imbalance in that connection. And it has a lot to do with this four of wands where this karmic person either wants to have something more, something more reliable, Either the divine masculine wants something more reliable and they're not getting it from this connection or this karmic person is trying to have a more reliable foundation and it's not happening because the DM is definitely in this energy of not giving into this connection. Now, some of them could be married to this person, but this karmic person is definitely like, mm -mm. I'm not being celebrated here. I'm not being supported here. Not whatsoever right and the justice has to be served so this is something that the divine has actually ushered in because it's time for this divine masculine to literally start to make some decisions and they're not they're not making these decisions so, so now the universe is what sent the tower moment to change some things to shift some things a little bit and where they're going into this energy of like they want to be alone it's really pushing them into this meditative state because now they're thinking, they're thinking, you know, what I got to do next, you know, evaluating all that um, options, reevaluating their own lives, stuff like that. Now, can you tell me more about um, this time moment? What's next? <clears throat> I see it, but I don't know. The Empress card was showing it to me, which is the Divine Feminine, right? But I'm going to see if it jumps out. But it stood out heavily. It was like gleaming at me. <laughs> Thank you. What's next? What's next for the divine masculine? All right, so the nine of cups is here. It's in the reverse. All right, so take note of that. Nine of cups, my eight of wands in reverse, the high priestess in the sun card in the upright position. So I'm going to show you guys all four so I can just roll right on through it because I want to give my Instagram family as much information as I can. But you don't have to go to my YouTube, like I said subscribe and hit the notification bell you guys that definitely helps um my channel to grow and i definitely appreciate you all but there um the nine of cups is here in a reverse position because they are very unhappy they're very unhappy they're not fulfilled in this situation because it's just too much disappointment right then they're looking at this queen of cups in reverse like you know what this is a superficial relationship you're really not really not here for the right reasons and you're not really appreciating you know what I'm saying what i'm doing or what i got to offer i mean it's going vice versa to me like both ways is what i'm picking up right and it's causing the divine masculine to be in this eight of wands energy in the reverse where they're stalling they're stalling they're moving slow right it's because of all of this chaos that's here and this is what's causing the delays and why they're not reaching 
this new beginning, okay, with the high priestess, which is going to be who? The divine feminine, all right? Now, the divine feminine already knows what's going on, though, because of the simple fact that divine femme, you are definitely intuitive, right? You're definitely connected to source, and you're powerful, all right? Your spirituality, everything. You probably are... Um, possess some gifts, you know, that will cause you to be psychic. You know, some of you could be tarot readers just like myself. But however, you know, you know what's hidden under the surface, so you know what's going to take place next, right? But you, it's like you're not, yeah, you're not buying into any of it at this moment, only because of the fact it's like it's an illusion. So you're, you're pretty much staying balanced in your own energy and focusing on what you need to do for yourself at this moment while all of that chaos is happening over there. But however, the divine masculine is definitely blocked, in their happiness they're blocked this is crazy like what i'm getting is just so extreme at the moment it's like it's unrealistic especially with this queen of cups in reverse is trying to get from this connection it's not something that's even possible at this moment because there's been so much damage that has been done um on both parts right and now source is like you know this justice has to be served the scales have to be balanced in this it's time for um a decision to be made thank you Tell us about this um, high priestess, please. Kirk. So the Six of Pentacles came out in the reverse. So this jumped out before I asked my question. So, of course, as I was speaking, you know, this card was just confirming everything that I was saying. It's an unfair power dynamics when it comes to this situation. This person, the karmic, takes advantage of um, the divine masculine's love. They're very controlling. Can you tell me about this high priestess, please? The divine feminine. Okay. <clears throat> I got the four of pentacles in the reverse, the nine of wands upright, and the eight of swords in the reverse position. All right, so y'all see that, right? That's all good cards. Four of pentacles in reverse, basically just saying like, oh, you letting go, right? You're at this energy where you just like, I want to overcome all of this, right? And this is how the Divine Masculine is actually mirroring you at the same exact time, ready to give into this connection. They're ready to overcome the um, whatever that jealousy was, whatever the past is for them. They're ready release, to release that and they want to move on in a way where they're not hindered by any of these past wounds. So they're in this place where they're trying to heal themselves. And because you have been in this nine of wands energy, just pretty much like shit, I'm standing my ground, right? The high priestess is not a joke. The high priestess is like, you know what? I can win the battle because I'm connected to spirit. And at the same time, it's things that I can do in 5D, right? That no karmic or no person can do. So in 5D, you do a lot of battling, right? You know you can win this battle. And you know the key to winning the battle is to what? To stay focused on yourself, right? And keeping that energy, um, positive energy, right? Flowing within you. Practicing your self-care, healing yourself, you know what I'm saying? Just staying grounded and connected to source. Like a lot of you guys are definitely in this high priestess energy. You're not playing with them. You're not playing with them. And so you stay in your ground. You're like, you know what? I know what it takes to manifest what I need to manifest um, for myself. To get closer to my desire. I know the key to manifestation at this moment. Right? And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You already know, like, when you stand in your ground, you know that it's going to require some work to do it, some self-improvement, and some sacrifices, right? So not only when your end is like you got to self-improve, you know that the divine masculine still has work to do, and you sitting back, you giving them that space, you living your life, right? And it's for them in order to get their lives together. The Eight of Swords energy just pretty much is saying is like, bam. Divine Sam, you you and this energy, like, you know what, I'm facing my fears. And because of that, your Divine Masculine is literally mirroring you and they want freedom. They want out of this situation. They're at this point where they're taking control of their life, right? They got a whole clear perspective on what it is that they want for themselves. They got this vision, especially when it comes to relationships. All right, so now they're ready to take this active role in their love life because right there is is anxiety, and they're ready to let that go. Okay, so the blind folks are definitely coming off. Mm, let me pull out, out my cards. I want to see what's going on, what's on their mind, what they're thinking about at this moment. Thank you. Wait, um, hmm, wait a minute. Oh, okay, wait. I got to do it from this end. Mm -mm. All right, what message do you need? You have, thank you. So what 
got two cards that came out for y'all. Oh, I gotta let y'all go. I'm I always go over my time. I wish I wish um Instagram would definitely let us record longer than 15 minutes worth of video. Cause this was dope. Like I had to get it to y'all. But pretty much, right? It's at this point. It's at this point, right? I got two cards, right? That are the same. Almost not the same. All right, so it's not the same. All right, so let me get myself together. I got a little distracted because my son. He definitely came in and, you know, that kind of like throws your channeling off a little bit. But I got divine timing in springtime. So spirit is saying like, you know what? This is going to happen in divine timing, right? But the divine timing is springtime. <laughs> it's like, it's going to happen in divine timing. But sometime in spring. All right. So we're going to give you a little clip. Sometime in spring is when it's going to happen. So, but to confirm that, <laughs> you know how we do. Let's pull some tarot. All right. So, what's this divine time in about, sir? What's this springtime about? Let us know. What's going to happen during that time? Thank you. <clears throat> Five of swords in the reverse position. Reconciliation. Straight like that. <laughs> Reconciliation. Straight like that. Resolutions. Getting back together. Forgiveness. Straight like that. All right. That's all I got to say. Like, spread like, you know what? We ain't got to go any further than this. <laughs> Straight like that. Wow. Oh. Um, I was going to pick up on my love deck, right? Mm -mm. But I heard loud and clear where I got to go. And I'm going straight to this karmic energy real quick Let's see what's going on i'm gonna recycle these cards i probably should pull out my other tarot i don't ever use them leave that there these are just so much more prettier <laughs> all the nice colors all right so what do i do with the deck oh here we go i'll take this one too <clears throat> Spirit, what is the karmic hiding from the divine masculine? <laughs> I was trying to keep pushing the same card back in, but Spirit was like, ah, oh, hell no. I said, <laughs> and threw the card right back out. It was if it was in the reverse. All right, the death, the re um, rebirth card is in the reverse, right? So, and then the king of cups came out. So, what? This karmic is hiding from the divine masculine is, right? They're clinging, definitely clinging to the past, right? They're not really um, trying to change. They're mourning. And they probably try to put on the front like they're not, right? Now, I got this Knight of Cups here. So, is this a, another person? Are they, they trying to act like that they still stuck on this divine masculine, but they really got somebody else? Can you tell me, Spirit, what is this Knight of Cups here for? The World card is here in the reverse position. Um, mm, They're feeling incomplete, okay? So they definitely feel like something is missing from their life, right? And because of this, thank you, what's missing? Because of this, they're trying to complete something. So they could be definitely... Um, going outside of this connection with the divine masculine they could be definitely politicking with some other energies you know what i mean yeah because the nine of cups is in a reverse position they're unhappy they feel it they're not getting fulfilled too as well they feel a disappointment too as well especially within this connection so they definitely are out there um dealing with somebody else they really trying to make it seem like they stuck on the past right so that's what they hide they making it seem like you know damn I, I feel hopeless what's going on here right but actually, they are actually um, doing some other stuff. Let's see. Thank you. Come on. Oh, what about this Emperor Spirit? Mm. So, I got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot, and the Empress card. So, what I'm also getting is... Okay, so they realized that their person was being risky, 
and neglecting them because they are moving towards the divine feminine, which is the empress. Okay, so the chariot card represents, you know, movement, right? And moving fast, right? Taking action um, of your love life, taking control of your goals and trying to really achieve them, right? So they see that this is what's happening. That person was being reckless and risky because they leaving them to move towards the empress. They're trying to birth something new when it comes to you guys. And they 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 really putting on the front acting like that they don't know it. But they know it. They know what's going on. Alright. Thank you. What message? Um, elaborate on this from the Father. What's the Father's energy? So, the comic definitely goes through the DM's phone, and they are making your DM block you. So, what I'm picking up, which is automatic, is like, what they're doing is, they're going to your number in the phone, and they're putting you on block. It's not the DM that's doing that, it's them. That's putting you on block. So, you've probably been trying to reach them or reach out, text them or however, and it's not going through. But they don't, I don't, they don't even realize that you have been blocked in their phone. Wow. So many secrets. That's way too many cards for it. Thank you. The DM is done. That was my message the other day. So this confirms it. The DM is done. The DM has ended this karmic relationship. So this is definitely could be old energy. So this could have happened in the past. And this is really telling you the story. Or this could be happening right now at this moment. If it's not, it's going to happen. All right. But the, the DM is done. They have ended this situation. They are totally like, you know what? I'm not with none of this shit. They can do whatever they want. They can they can block. They can hate. They can challenge me. However, I'm still moving forward towards my divine feminine. Wow. Thank you. I'm pretty much just like letting spirit just flow with the message that's already here. So whatever cards lay, that's that's how we're going with it. And if I do feel like I need to pull this important question to the cards that come out. Now the DM is saying, please stop doubting our connection. Like you putting too much worry energy and doubting into the into the universe. And when you do that, right, it it slows down progress really a whole lot. You gotta believe. You know what I'm saying? If this is what you want and you're trying to manifest that, align with what it is that you desire for yourself. Believe. Stop doubting the connection. They send you sexual energy all the time. So it's probably times, y'all, and I'm going to be real. I'm going to speak how it is. It's probably times where you get horny and you're like, where did they come from, right? I wasn't feeling like that at all. But it just came out of nowhere. It's definitely probably them sending you that energy. That's your, that's their energy that they are picking up on. Now I have that you are picking up on. Now I have this life support card. So I need to, I'm going to pull a tarot on that because it's like this energy is jump um i guess it's supposed to be like a masculine energy or feminine i don't know what it is right but you see how the two hearts are together and they look like the clothespin or, or jumper you know how you do life support like the jumper cables or something giving life support to the other person so maybe you are like their life support but i'm gonna pull tarot on that so we can see but i can't explain what i mean and even if i could i'm not sure if i'll understand okay we're gonna get elaboration on this too so but what i'm picking up is like they can't explain how they feel they can't express this and they're not sure if they understand it because it's so deep right and untrustworthy so it's something that you need to watch out for with the dm because they could be definitely spitting lies and I think that's why the karmic is in that energy hiding because the, the DM is probably lying to this karmic about you, right? But the karmic already knows. I think we already know what that's about, right? But it's so easy to become mentally clouded with a love as strong as ours. Okay, focus. 
So this is what's causing all the confusion because it's like this is so strong. Like this card came out and said this is like life support, right? And without it, it just feels like they're not going to make it. They're not going to survive. Literally. Now... <clears throat> Can you, can you elaborate on this life support card, please, sir? <clears throat> All right, so the emperor card is here in the reverse position. So that makes sense, right? It's like, without you, they are the emperor in reverse, okay? They are rigid, they're stubborn, they're overbearing. Ooh, I can't even shuffle that. Right, this is what keeps them stuck from moving, from taking action is when they don't have your energy. They need your energy in order to feel like they can move forward. Where it, it, it just like brings that energy up. Like you, your love, all of that is what makes them feel strong, right? But without it, it's like they feel like they have chaos and delays, right? This is what keeps them from moving forward. It's you that keep them happy, that keep them optimistic right their happiness is coming from you literally it's your positivity that's keeping them literally alive and that's how they feel about it and that's how they feel about this whole connection it's your love period it's your love that's making you so much more um attractive and attracting them in more and more and more can you explain this part i can't explain what i mean even if i could i'm not sure i'll understand Oh, oh, <laughs> the devil card and the ace of pentacles. So they're obsessed with you is what I'm getting. I can't explain what I mean. It's this feeling of like obsession. It's almost like, what is this? How can I, why do I feel like this? <laughs> I can't even explain what this feeling is. I just feel like I always need to have you around you, around me. I feel like I need you and my energy. It's like an addiction almost. It's, it's like one of those things where they just literally are stuck on you. And without you, they feel like they're empty. And this is crazy because, you know, when I look at these connections, as far as these divine connections, it's like I would necessarily not look at this as an unhealthy attachment. Because you have healthy and unhealthy attachments. And healthy attachments, if you look at it biblically, normally goes towards... um marriages right marriages are usually supposed to be the the healthy attachments and the unhealthy attachments is supposed to be the ones that you are with that you are not married to right but i see the reason why i'm saying this is because i look at twin flame unions as the real one and true marriage all right because this is the person that the divine has made for you like literally you are a mirror image of each other you were made at the same time exact same soul slit into two literally so that's how I see the twin flame union as the one true marriage. So in a way, it's like I kind of would look at that as a healthy attachment. It's like the obsession or the addiction to the other twin is because you guys have been together for so many different lifetimes. You are supposed to be together. And it's like the angels, your um, guides, however it is that you want to put it, literally takes and put this energy on each twin. It's like, it's one of those energies where you just feel pulled. It's like a magnet where you feel pulled to your person. Even if you're not together, you're in separation. It's always on your mind, right? Even when it comes down to um, intimacy or sex, it's like they crave the divine feminine, crave the divine feminine. But it, to me, it seems like that's put there to keep you guys together, right? Because this is a divine connection. Um, but they definitely feel addicted or even obsessed to having this new beginning with you guys to having this abundance and love and um money and opportunities all of that they feel it it's like they're they're constantly just being pulled and pulled towards you it's like no matter what they try to do or if they even try to avoid the inevitable of having that time or moment it's going to happen regardless they can't even avoid it now tell me about this untrustworthy card here. What is this looking for? So the six of swords is here in the reverse position. All right, so it's hard for them to let go. It's hard for them to move on. Um, they're having difficulties 
definitely accepting help when it comes to this. So they could have been, you know, they are or was resisting change, or they could be carrying on to some baggage, which can be what? Some codependency that they caught on to from that connection, hurt, pain, trauma, stuff like that, right? And it's a lot of deception that could be going on because this divine masculine is not only hiding their true feelings from the divine film, they're lying to the karmic about the divine film and probably how they feel. But they don't even got to speak it because their actions are screaming louder than words, right? They're definitely in that energy of what? I'm not putting into this. I'm being risky and I'm being lazy when it comes to this connection. I don't got nothing to offer you, right? But at the same time, they, it's hard for them to let go. But that's because of the codependency. It's like it's like the divine masculine is spitting lies both ways. Now, yeah, they're going into the hermit mode. All right, so we got the hermit and the two of cups together. Two of cups is yeah, they soul searching, they reflecting, and they're not letting this karmic person know that's that's what they're doing. They literally have taken a pause. They like whoo. I need to gain some insight about my goddamn self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't putting into that connection. I ain't putting into that. I'm just going to give y'all just enough. I'm going to breadcrumb you at this moment. Give you just enough to keep you there, but just enough where I can still withdraw, right? And do some soul searching. But all in this self-reflection, they're going straight towards the union. This meditate, meditative state that they're going to is pushing them closer and closer to creating this bond with the divine feminine because that's what they want i mean we've been already seen it in a whole week but the unlikely card um that came out in the beginning is like yeah it's unlikely to work that you know with that karmic situation because the cards have already said to us what that the dm is done and in divine timing which is springtime you got what the union all right I'm going to move on to these next cards real quick. I need to see something. I need to see something. Let me see. All right. All right. My divine fans want to know, where is the divine masculine energy right now towards them? <laughs> I'm going to dance for your heart. Like I need to do a long bop for this one. But yes, my 41 year old self then busted out a little two step real quick. Now look, I got the caring connection card. This is how they feeling towards you right now. They ready to make this change, right? We got one plus four, the number 14 on the top. One plus four equals five, five equals change. So they know that this is a caring connection. They know you their person, right? They ready to make this change, okay? Then the next part I got is door to happiness. Door to happiness, door to personal healing and happiness. The number on that card, I'm trying to read this backwards. <laughs> 34, right? So three plus four is what? Seven. That's about completion, right? So they know that they want to walk through that door because you are leading them to their personal healing and their happiness. Then you got this rainbow that's right there, right? That's definitely representing a promise that the divine has made over this union, period. Through that door, it looked like it's the what? Garden of Eden and shit. Like it's out there and it's just a whole bunch of good stuff. Love, happiness, healing, abundance. But they definitely know that that's what you offer. You offer their new beginning, right? You offer them peace in their personal life right now. They definitely feeling at peace and they ready to make these changes. They ready to work on this. They ready to make this blossom with you guys, okay? Stay optimistic because even though it just seems like it's rough, right? It seems rough when you're looking at it through your, three, your, your third eye lens, your 3D lens, right? When you're looking at it through your natural perspective, your natural mindset, it's like, shit, <laughs> what is going on here, right? But nah, it's good. This is done. This is done already. Don't even go into that right energy no more, right? Look at the next card. Community in reverse. That is talking about this third party situation. Number seven, completed. Come on, come through, spirit. Using that intuition. Definitely tapping in, connecting to the universe, right? Definitely. They trying to manifest the shit out of this. They trying to create something that's valuable between you guys. Not only abundance, that's like ten of pentacles to me. Because this court card literally will represent 
money and other things whatever it is that you desire is what's coming through that door money love wealth happiness peace come on anything that brings abundance this is what they try to bring about towards this connection i love it how about y'all do you love it i love it i love it because let me tell you we thought we had a win come um what was it december 20th December 2020, we thought it was going to go on in 2021. Like, yeah, we did. We did. Nah, then it's, nah. The vibe was like, hold. <laughs> ain't nothing moving because these ninjas ain't ready, right? But just to be able to see the progression and just to know how you, Divine Feminine, have been progressing um, through this whole journey. Like, even if you're not at this point yet and, and you're looking at it like, oh, I'm still at the point where they, they still arguing back and forth with the karmic, right? Really take and do some self-reflection. Really still continue to work on your self-care. Whatever's triggering you, look at that mirror and face it. All right, because at the end of the day, this really is about yourself. It's about your own self-healing, your own self-love, your own freaking level up, right? It don't got nothing to do with your person. What they doing, that ain't none of your concern. Only thing you need to be concerned about is you. And it's not selfish. You didn't put so much into the connection. And that's usually what the problem is. That's why they run. But when you can show face to be independent, loving yourself, this is what attracts the romance, all right? But when you are being needy or weak or worrying and crying and stressing, running down behind them, they going to get the hell up out of there. And I'm talking about quick, fast, in a hurry, all right? So the best thing for you to do is to focus on you. That is all Source wants from you. That's it, Source. It's like you don't got to do nothing else. Why? Because this is divine time and I'm running this. Source is running this show. Why? Because this is a divine connection, at the end of the day, the divine says when it's time. And when he feel when when the divine feels as though the twins are ready and both parties are healed and healing to be able to move forward and work towards what? Their life purpose, then bam, you got it. Then it's done because it's about the bigger picture. It's not about the love. The love is the plus. You know what I'm saying? That's something that's given to get, you know, for that, for that reward. You know what I'm saying? Because we all need that connection. It's not about that. It's about the bigger picture, which is about focusing on your life purpose so that you can help other people to ascend, so that you can raise the vibration of the collective, so that you can teach other people on how to love. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's about. Not only to love other people but to love themselves because this is what we lack right we we lack our own self-love but it's because of years and years of trauma right years and years of trauma man <clears throat> i mean i'm not even talking about now trauma it could be past life trauma so your dream for you to plan a practical plan, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so if you are definitely worrying about your divine masculine, your family, whoever you love, all right, you guys are safe. You are protected. Now I'm gonna read up on this dreams need a practical plan card, then we're gonna um elaborate if we can't get the gist of what's going on in that card. Sometimes you need to leave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical and sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction and what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it, aligning with it. And I'm putting in my own words, being a vibrational match to it, staying in your happy place, releasing what no longer serves you. That's how you attract. That's how the laws of attraction work. You got to be a vibrational match to what it is you desire. So get those chakras balanced. <laughs> All right, get that energy flowing so that you can start manifesting what it is that you want for yourself. But um, you just need to balance that with taking down, taking down to earth steps towards your goals. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. You don't say, "Well, I'ma just hope that it work out." Mm -mm. No, faith without works is dead. Straight like that. Now, um, it says, write down ten things that you know you are wonderful. What that you know are wonderful about yourself. All right. Um, 
if you're not really being proactive or laziness or something like that, or just like really making effort, this could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. And of course, chasing doesn't work. And I just spoke about that, right? You don't need to chase a dream. You attract it, all right? So even if your divine masculine is a part of that dream, even divine masculine, if you tuned in, you don't you don't chase it. It's all about attraction. You got to use the laws of attraction to manifest. This is why it's, it's here like this. This is why the higher ups have been what? Keeping this secret from us. The laws of attraction really work. It's not just speaking it you have to align with it you can't just be like yeah i want my relationship to work but then on the other end like they ain't gonna it ain't gonna work they still they still out there doing whatever i, I don't know i just don't see it happening because it just doesn't look no that's contradictory to what it is that you want now jealousy or envy creates negative energy and attracts negative negativity so make sure you stay in a positive mindset and it says more exercise is called for which is understandable right because when you're moving your body you are flowing in your energy you are becoming more balanced you are aligning your chakras so even if you just do some yoga go out and walk in a park get amongst trees and nature feel nature because nature is healing right and it helps you to ground yourself and it also helps you to connect and hear the divine to listen to your intuition as well so get out there and move your body right i know it's cold here in baltimore we got a little nice little Little, little phony snow, right? <laughs> it's enough to make things go a little haywire, right? But however, because I ain't even supposed to be recording tonight, right? I'm supposed to be laying in my bed, like, recovering from my, my, my um, procedure today, right? But that got canceled, thanks to Mercury Retro, right? But it's all good, because I get to talk to you guys. But however, however, take this card as a sign to pay more attention to your cash flow, no matter when you draw it, all right? So they want you to also watch out for your money, right? Be practical. Um, and that plan too as well when it comes down to your finances. Now, Spurt, is there anything else that you want me to tell or say or speak at this moment? Okay. Thank you. Where are they at? You're being told to pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because you're getting answers to your prayers there. It's some hidden information there that's waiting to be discovered. I've been having some dreams, honey. And I've been sitting up here like, I am a professor in real life, right? So I dreamt that I was a professor and a student, but the teacher wasn't really like a great teacher. So I was more interested in teaching my class. For some odd reason, I had to teach class in the, his class at the same time. And I'm just sitting up here like, is it something I'm still need to? It's probably something I still need to learn. I, I need to go back and write it down because I do. I am a dream interpreter too, so I need to go back and look at the symbols and interpret it um, to see what's going on. But there's hidden information there, so definitely pay attention to your dreams. Alright. Your your twin is leveling up in their energy to match yours. All right, and they will face you when the time is ready. So by the springtime, God willing, they are ready to face you. And probably be footing, you know, spring is around the corner. We'll be in February already, so we got to get through March. Yeah, that's not that long from now, you guys. So stay optimistic. Stay very positive about this. Now, let's get some soulmate messages. Ah, these cards are so little. Let me show y'all. You see how little they are? It says, you are always in my heart, <laughs> like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory, drifting around space like autumn leaves, recollect. <laughs> Ooh, I can't say the word. Recollections of loving days and nights. They being all poetic and shit. Let's see, what else we got here? If I can't get these cards to flip through my hand, I gotta go to my heart deck. I just thought these would be a great idea. Like, okay, they're nice and small and cute. I should be able to, you know, flip through these all nice and easy. No. <laughs> In order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realize that spiritually we are always connected. That's that twin flame shit. That's just reminding you if you guys are not together, um, or not, or yeah, if you in separation or if you're communicating but y'all ain't really together together like y'all usually are. 
you know, just know that spiritually you are always with your person. Remember, I was telling you all the time, you always thinking about them. In 5D, they come visit to you in your dreams, right? They talking to you in your dreams. You talk to your twin, what? Um, in your mind. I don't know if y'all do it. I do it all the time. And it'd be so funny because every time I decide to do it, my twin attacks me in response to what I said. And I'd be sitting up there like, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if he knew, like, if he's catching these little um, Jedi, what, what, what you call it, Jedi mind tricks or whatever. I wonder if he's catching these little tele telepathic um, messages that I'm sending towards towards him. Because, like, I'll literally be like, in my mind, I might say, I love you. And then I'll get a text, like, I love you. Good night. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And I'll be like, wow, that shit is awesome, right? <laughs> but distance nor time can separate um, that which is united by love. All right, so remember that you and your twin are so closely connected. So even if you just fresh on this journey, y'all, you can, can you can connect and talk to your twin in 5D, literally. That's what I'm telling y'all. Y'all are one soul, literally. You ain't sharing the same damn soul, no, okay? But your soul is split in two. Like, the divine made y'all to be together. Y'all were made for each other, right? And because of that, you have this ability to speak through emotion, you know what I'm saying? You know what they're thinking. You know what they're feeling. When they're feeling bad, you can feel that energy. You can feel when they're excited. You can feel when they're close, right? They could be on their way to you. Or um, I used to could tell when I would stay at my um, twin's house all the time, I could tell when he was on his way home. I could feel him, right? These are the type of connection that you guys have, right? So remember that. That's why I say when you stay in your ground, you stay in your ground in 5D. It's so much It's so much better there. It's so much more that you can do in 5D instead of focusing on what's happening right in front of you, right? Because then there you got spiritual helpers. So remember that to stay connected to source, stay connected to your angelic team, whatever you need help with because you are divine film. You know what I mean? You are needed, right? Your, your mission is to help this world. So you literally are an earth angel. So you're, you got angelic assistance and ancestors all around you guiding you. You need help, then you need to speak it, right? That's our superpower, knowing that we got assistance from the, the, the divine and our angels. Hey, I need help. Well, I'm feeling low today. Can you help raise my vibe? You know what I'm saying? Or can you help me with my connection? I need help. You know what I'm saying? Just speak it. They cannot intervene until you ask for it. All right, they'll sit back and they waiting on you. So don't forget to ask for help. All right, you guys, I think I'm done because I feel like I, I have really lectured you guys today. But I do love you guys and I really am sending you well wishes. And I really do, and I am praying because I know this is the year of Aquarius. You know, the twins are supposed to come into you. But I am definitely praying for your strength and your peace at this time. All right, be blessed. Love you.